Hello everybody, my name is Utrara, and this is Mega Games Talking 2, another episode of my Let's Play series. Right now, my main development team is in training. Well, I guess I should mention what I did last episode. We released Bounty in the West Online, our second MMO. This one is an MMO FPS. Uh, our MMO RPG is still on the market. It still has over a million subscribers, almost 1.1 million. So we're, we are going to continue to support it for... At least a little while longer. At some point, though, we will pull the plug. I mean, it's been on the market for over 10 years at this point, right? And we'll, we're going to make a sequel, obviously, when we do pull it off the market. Um, we also released Civ City 3, a strategy game, because the trend is strategy. And apparently the next trend is supposed to be strategy as well. So we're just going to, you know, bleed the old strategy well dry. Um, also released uh, this Super Lutera Cube Tech Level 7 console. Stationary. We also got a Tech Level 6 handheld that's selling extremely well. 34, almost 35 million copies of that. Um, so our third development team is working on updating uh, the Action Engine. Our secondary development team is doing a uh, an add-on for Bounty the West Online for a new MMO already. We got, it, we got it nice and early. It's only been out for 39 weeks. Generally, I like to do a paid add-on once a year. So it's a touch early, but you know what? That's fine. So let's take it off pause here. It's technically done, but there's bugs and stuff. All right, banking crisis. That is whatever, because I do not have any outstanding loans. So that's good. <laughs> this game design training is going pretty slow. All right, so... Oh, developer of the year. We haven't done that very often. And, of course, we don't get publisher of the year because we don't publish our own games. And that's fine. Ways of Thunder remastered. 4.4 million. That's all right. So this training's not going super quick because um, half the people are already maxed out. All right, so this is at max hype. Let's do special marketing for it, pre-release for the press. And you know what? We can uh, we can we can polish this up, right? There's no rush. Ooh, look at all the tech level seven stuff. We can polish it. Um, what are we gonna do over here though? Let's bang out this commission work. So until this team's done, right, I want to have these teams at least doing something, right? Basically. This customer support queue. The customer support queue is finally going down. We had to hire a whole extra team to manage it, but we did eventually manage it. And you know what? I kind of want to train them again. So let's train them again. Let's train them in programming. Um, we are going to release this, though. We got highly advanced AI level 2. Finished development. Okay, 70 to 90. I expect that to be like around 90, I, I would say. Looks good. It looks good there. Nice. 89%. And we are going to immediately do another one. An MMO add on for Final Fantasy Online. First, sorry. Fifth Fantasy Online. <laughs> I misspoke. All right, so we need a secondary topic, hopefully one, preferably, I should say, one that we haven't used yet. Um, orcs? Have we used orcs? I mean, I know we have our orcs and warriors game, or orcs versus dragons, I think it is. We could probably use orcs if nothing else jumps out at me. Like, obviously, we're not going to use, like, robots, right? Because this is a fantasy MMO. Um, skeletons, we did on... We just did ghosts, didn't we? So let's not do skeletons. I mean, I guess I could uh, could just use orcs. Yeah, let's just use orcs. And this this might be my last one though. This might be the last uh, the last add-on for this MMO because I, I think I want to do a sequel to it soon. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to commit to doing it this episode. I probably should have planned this out beforehand. But, you know, that's how I roll. <laughs> YOLO, right? All right, so you can bug fix. You can polish. And you can polish. And they can polish. And you know what? Let's do this commission work first. And then we can polish here as well. What did... What? Okay, I knew it was going to be fast. I didn't know it was going to be that fast. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, it's, it's not a bad thing. All right, so let's do a free update for SubCity 3. Let's go. 
Okay, so it lost 20 hype. It only didn't have much hype to begin with. That's fine. So let's just do one quick game magazine. Actually, no, let's just do a poster. Then we get it to 10 hype. And then we can do three TV campaigns from here. Which will get it to 100 hype. Perfect. All right, Secret of the Stars. Need a cool 400,000. Yeehaw. Look out. <laughs> Oh, well, that's fine. Not the end of the world. Alright, engine feature. Highly advanced AI. Alright, they are almost done a programming training. They are done a programming training, so let's just go down the list. Let's do graphics and music. And then we will make a new game. What kind of game? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's do a free update for this. Free update for the paid update, essentially. Those are all both selling well. Fantasy Online bleeds subscribers again. I don't need West Online though. Subscriptions are on the rise big time. 27,000 last week. That's good. That's really good actually. All right, how's this training coming? Pretty good. They're getting through pretty quickly. I would say. And we are. So we just need music training. And then we'll be ready to make a new game with those folks. Alright, so that engine thing is in. Uh, let's go with the gig memory card. Alright, so what type of game are we going to make next? The trend is going to change in four weeks. So we will just wait four weeks and we'll see what the trend is. And we'll probably make a game for that. Whatever the trend happens to be. So let's just do an update for the haunting. Right now. Yeah, there's definitely a cap. On Fifth Fantasy Online, how good it could possibly be. So strategy. Now my market research thinks it's still going to be strategy. We will see. We will see. Maybe it will be. Who knows? But I'd be kind of surprised by that, honestly. No, it is okay. So my my team was right. It is still. Uh, it is still. All right, so we just did a strategy, so we're not going to do another strategy. So what else is half popular or reasonably popular? Puzzles popular, a little saturated. I mean, like, these would be good, except we've never made one of those types of games. So it looks like we're going to do a puzzle game. I believe our puzzle engine was up to date until that one thing got added. So let's, uh, let's add it in, shall we? I'll leave advanced AI, and then we're going to make a puzzle game. That is the plan. So let's grab these folks. Training was a success, I assume, I hope, I pray. All right, so we can do special marketing. For Worktastic, pre-release for the press. Let's go. Okay, so that engine's up to date. So, new puzzle pets. Puzzle pets, 28. That's an exaggeration. What's that? What's that? 12. Puzzle pets, 12. That's that's getting up there. <laughs> Let's be real. That's getting up there. All right, so puzzle engine. You will make this. Personal computer. Uh, no, not the chair station. Super chair cube. Because we're, we're going tech level 7, right? Game Station 4, Y Box 720, yes. Is there any, anything new that's popular? Game Machine. I'm looking for tech level 7 and above. Nope. Okay. All right, so that looks good. Although the fact that we're not good at those is a little worrying. Let's grab some new anti cheat while we're here. Copy protect is good enough. Everything looks good here. Or not everything here, which is how many things? 46 things. 50 hype right out of the gate. All right, so can we ship this? We can ship this probably, eh? Well, now we can ship it. <laughs> and again, I expect this to be, uh, expect this to be pretty good. 
way closer to 90. Hopefully, anyway. Hopefully. Yeah, 86. So th that's a little lower than I would have liked. Let's do an add-on for Civ City 3. Max it out. Civ City 3. Um, Roadworks. I guess. Sure. It's all about building roads, man. In this uh, add-on. Turn on AR support. Beautiful. Alright, so. Uh, what are we doing down here? Let's do a pre-update for Iron of the West Online. I know. I know it's expensive. That's fine. There you go, guys. Can bug fix, bug fix this. We can improve the gameplay of this. And we can improve some graphics, of course. And the gameplay. Gameplay is the most important. And the sound. And no commission work here. There's very little point in training them. They're pretty much only a few of them will actually get anything out of training, so we'll just we'll just let them idle, I guess. Alright, we need to mark it. Where are we at here? Puzzle bets 12. A couple TV spots. We'll get it where it needs to be. This 8 gigabyte memory card. I feel like they've been researching this for a long time. Maybe it's just me, though. Ooh, Bounty the West Online. It's going to catch... It's going to catch this in subscription soon. All right, so Roadworks lost some graphics points. That is not the end of the world. All right, so my bug fixing QA team. Let's switch them over. To this one, they'll, they'll just kind of ping pong back and forth. Try to keep the bugs down on both. I know that's asking for quite a bit, but that's what we're going to try to do. All right, so let's get this new engine feature, highly advanced physics. We never even really got good at the other stuff, like the older stuff. That's fine. Civ City 3, let's keep interest up in that, since we got an add-on coming. You guys can publish that yourselves. Alright, and then we got this other game. Gonna make that hype as well. Perfect. Alright, large booth, let's go. Um, Fifth Man Saint Line, sure, let's bleed a, <laughs> bleed a little more out of that. Uh, high noon, sure. Ooh, a couple of our consoles need some hype, man. I need to, uh, I've been putting out so many games, I have, my advertising team hasn't had a chance to, uh, hype up my consoles in a while. That's a problem. But we'll get there. That's fine. Everything is fine. So this game will be done first. Which is expected and also fine. Yeah, a lot of add-ons. Not a lot of actual games here, I'm realizing. <laughs> and that's okay. Like, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Um, okay, so let's just do commission work here. I know it'll be quick, but I want this uh, engine thing to be done, and then we can update some engines. Right? Alright, and there it is. Got 800 gigabyte hard disk. Right, so what engine do we want to update? What kind of game? Well, let's make RPG up to date because we're going to be doing a new MMORPG soon. We think. Probably. <laughs> Possibly. Maybe. We'll see. Who knows? RPG Engine 7. Perfect. All right, so we're basically just waiting for the bugs to be gone from there. So let's just continue development for a little bit. Pre-release for the press. And then we'll ship this. Well, there's still bugs. Okay, now we can ship it. Alright, cancel bug fixing. Or cancel polishing. Start bug fixing this. Now this is probably not going to be quite as good. This will not be close to 90. Well, I predict like 84, 85. And I'd be okay with that. I would be quite okay with that. Hey, I was wrong. 
I was wrong in the right direction, though. <laughs> right, so let's blast through this commission work. Beautiful. Ooh, extra music points. I expect this game to be quite good. Alright, so let's quickly market a console here. GoPro, let's go. Let's get this back to 100. Even my old consoles are still selling pretty good. 30,000 for that one, 56,000 for that one. Like, that's pretty good for a, an out of date console, right? And my consoles are selling extremely well. I'm very happy with that sales there. All right, so let's do a free update for Worktastic. Sure. And you can do a free update for Roadworks. Free update to the paid update. So, a lot of updates. Update Tastic. Update Seption. All right, so they're polishing already. So, let's actually pull them out. Give them a quick training sesh. I feel like it's been a while since I trained this group. All right, and we have a couple of them that do not benefit from training. So let's pick them up. Ooh, 100. Good job, Chris Robertos. So you can, they can polish, right? I mean, obviously, they're not going to add a whole lot since there's only two of them. But, you know, I want to try to sneak in training when I can. Basically. And I'm trying to think, how important is that category for this type of game? All right, let's sneak in another console here. Hype session here. Air station, we'll just do one TV spot for you. That'll get you to like 90 hype or so. That should be good. A lot of bugs to be worked out here. <laughs> so they're on the last thing. They're about to be bug fixing. They're bug fixing. Sound team is in the polishing phase. Okay. Our servers are at 53% capacity. And oh, our new MMO is. Wow, it's kind of killing it. Um, So. Let's start a paid add on for it. Oh, sorry. It went all add on. Bounty of the West online. High noon. Oh, yeah, we should have done this a little sooner. It's been 40 weeks since the last one was out. Um, we will call this, oh God, I don't know, <laughs> Gunslingers. And new copy protection, macro protect, let's go. Please protect me from those scary pirates. Hit in some air support, works for me. Uh, what do we got to research here? Nothing. Research team is idle once again. Let's do a free update for Civ City 3. Let's keep that. Keep it good. Keep it fresh. 16 million copies sold. That's a good game, folks. That's a great, good game. A good, great game? A great, good game. <laughs> Both. Um, all right, so let's do a demo for that. Get that back up, hyped up. What else can we sneak out a demo for here? Civ City 3, let's go. And let's do, uh, should we do a pre-release for the press for Puzzle Pets? I think it's time. I think it's fair enough along. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, continue development. We got a few bugs to work out there. Okay, okay. Those worked somewhat. Somewhat worked. Uh, console, no. Let's do Gunslingers. Where's Gunslingers? Get that to max height. Oh, I didn't win any awards because I technically didn't release any games last year. Add-ons do not qualify for this. Right? So. That's fine. But yeah, I'm actually selling my engines now. People are buying my engines, which is nice. Alright, so they got their training in. Lots of nice green numbers there. That's good to see. So let's do a little more polishing there. Still nothing to research. Alright, so let's... uh. Yeah, let's ship this. 80 to 100. That's what we want to see. Who has a puzzle-based fan base? Take three. Can you publish this for me, please? Thanks. 
a 96 that's what we're talking about that's good stuff right there all right so how's final fantasy online doing now to 900,000 subscribers bounty of the west online is up to 1.2 million subscribers though so do we want to start is it time for fifth fantasy online 2 do i want to wait until i get a tech level 7 handheld so i can put it on my own handheld i'm gonna say no sequel to fifth fancy online we are going to call it ffo though ffo2 the revenge the revenge of what i don't know just just the revenge in general <laughs> rpg engine seven let's go personal computer uh super little cherry cube Game Station 4. Let's just make sure there's no tech level 7 stuff that has a bunch of users. It's not. Okay. So, Ybox 720. That's reaching 340 million people. That's that's good enough. Good enough for me. And Su Super Lachera Cube's selling like 200,000 a week right now. So, <laughs> that's good. All right. We're not great at the engine stuff yet, but it's, it is top of the line stuff. So that's good. And beautiful. Add on all the features. No microtransactions. No, sir. All right. So we are not going to uh, work on that yet. We are going to polish up this add on first. So it'll be done quickly because MMO is taking a long time, right? So we'll polish this until it's done. And then we'll switch over to the add-on. Is my plan, and I think that's I think that's a fine way to do it. Um, and let's throw them in training. I guess I realize most of them won't even get a benefit, but some of them will. It's better than having them just sit around, right? I guess I could have trained my research team. Now, yeah, well, whatever, it's all good. Let's do a free update for. Uh, puzzle bits 12 let's wait on that one let's do high noon first we're gonna do updates for all those though eventually just take a little time but yeah mmo's taking a long time to make so we got that's gonna be in the oven for a bit <laughs> that one's gonna be in the oven for a bit down in the west of the line though we'd like to get that out asap because it's been um been almost a year since our last add-on right so we want to keep we want to keep interest high we want to get this interest back up to its cap right because we are still gaining subscribers but not by a lot so here's the question do i have the two best mmos right now yes and it's not even close medroid premium 2 is the only thing it's even close and it's not even close it's the only thing over hundred thousand. Like, it is three times more than the next one. And I have degrees better than that. So, yeah. So, I guess I'm saying I am the MMO king. Or something like that. <laughs> item record for Puzzle Bites 12. Nice. Okay, so this one's almost done. Got to get these bugs out. All right, so let's do another free update here for Roadworks. And then we'll do the Puzzle Bites 12 update was about 12 was already moved oh my god it's moving like almost a million copies a week that's kind of nuts um continue development let's do special marketing nope not market research Ooch. special marketing there you go there you go man uh gunslingers pre-release for the press still got a couple of bugs to work out and then it'll be ready to ship ready to ship all right so let's mark it ffo2 the revenge the revengeing all right so let's ship this bug free yes give add on to the publisher beautiful beautiful and there we go 90 hey that's good for an add-on that's it's a good thing all right so do we want do we want to do one last add-on for the original ffo one last hurrah before we put it out the pasture. Well, I mean, as long as it has 
subscribers. We're not going to just let it, you know, but this, this is officially the last add on to this game. I've decided this is it. Fairy, fairy, fairytopia, fairytopia. Uh, fairy invasion. That's what causes the whole world gets destroyed by fairies, and we have to make a sequel. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Turn on the AR support and the cloud service. Um, let's get you to bug fix this for a bit at least all right so high quality animations for the revenge high quality graphics for the revenge of ffo2 the revenging all right beautiful how's this training going now yeah, they're they're working they're trying to get through it slowly no, nothing new to research. And that is fine. That is okay. Oh, the Nintendo Switch is now out. There we go. There is an extra Tech Level 7 option now. But, I mean, it's going to take some time before it has some users. But I do have historic uh, console sales on. So this will sell really well. Which is, I mean, you could say it's cheating, the fact that I know that, but I find with random consoles, um, it could be hard to uh, find your own consoles don't sell well. I don't know. And maybe that's been patched. But, wow, the Lucera Go DS is still, that's crazy how it's almost moving 200,000 a week still. I mean, it's good. I'm. <laughs> It's not a complaint, it's an observation. Alright, let's do a free update for... Oh wow, I still haven't done an update for Puzzle Pets 12. That's... That's on me, I'm slacking. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Got a graphic artist. Legendary. Can I fit one more table in here? One more desk? Uh, I mean, I probably could if I move some stuff around. So let's do that. Let's move you there. Does that affect everybody? No. And scrunch you up. No, nope, sorry, I did not mean to pick you up. I meant to pick up your desk, because that's way better. And again, I meant to pick up your desk, not you. I believe I should be able to fit one desk right here. Ah, there's a heater in the way. Oh, <laughs> that heater I moved, I just put right there. Um, do I need this heater? What's the heat like without it? No, I don't even need the heater. So move that one into the corner. Now, I should be able to fit a desk here. Maybe. Beautiful. All right. And let's hire them. Ooh, they're an all-rounder. Wait, hold up. Hold the phone. I mean, you're hired, obviously. You can just chill right there for a minute. Let's take a look at the people in here. So we have some graphic designers. Okay, so there's a legendary graphic designer, but he's not an all-rounder. Right, so we want him... We're there, we put this all rounder in here. Because what you want is people that are like like this. This is what you want for the for the game design room. Now, obviously, once he maxes out in game design, he'll be even better. You want people that are good in everything, and having people that specialize a bit too is fine, right? Like this, right? But you want to get these other ones up. But he is an all rounder, so they. He does have a big cap, right? Um, yeah, let's see. All around, where are the all rounders at? Like this person. Like that's solid. That's really solid for a game design room, right? That's kind of what you want. People that aren't garbage <laughs> in the other things. 
Oh, that's me again. <laughs> Kaja. She has a ways to go. So we definitely have room to train still for this room. Anyway, I just realized I'm at the 30-minute mark. Uh, moral of the story is I am the MMO King. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.